Hello, this is uh, Mr. Beck. I'm going to demonstrate a program we've been working with in class that's called the GIMP. Uh, here you see this is my Linux desktop. Uh, the GIMP is a free graphical manipulation tool that's available on Windows and Linux. Um, when you open up the program, click on the icon, you'll get a text bar that looks a lot like this, uh, a toolbar. What we're going to do is uh, a quick activity that um, we did in class where we're going to create some text. Uh, we're going to duplicate it and we're going to make it look like there's a mirror image. So let's get started. Uh, what we'll do is we'll click on File and we'll tell the GIMP that we want a new file. The width and the height we're going to go ahead and specify as uh, 600 by 200. And uh, under advanced options this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep the background color and our background color is specified on the toolbar up here by double clicking on it. You can see that I've got a choice. Uh, let's make the background color, let's make it black. Okay. Uh, and so if I click OK, I get a box now that uh, is an image and we'll eventually save that image as either a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, uh, whatever we like. The next step is to open up uh, the most important dialog box that we've discussed in class which is the layers dialog by clicking on layers and that shows me the different layers I have available with this image. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer to work with by clicking on the new layer button and uh, we're going to keep it transparent and we can see that it's on top of our background and I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose on the toolbar the add text to image button I'm going to click on it and uh, here we've got a couple of things we've got a box where I can type and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll type some text quickly to work with I just type the words hello everyone but you can't see it because it's uh, the colors black so by picking over here I can choose to make the color white now we can see it anytime we select a tool to work with on an image uh, the, a set of tools appears underneath here in the uh, tool dialog that gives us options I can choose the font uh, the size uh, just a whole host of options for any given tool within the GIMP Okay, so what I did was I went up here and I selected my move tool and I'm going to move the text up to the top of the image, just like that. The next step is to duplicate uh, this layer and the option here on the layers dialog is uh, duplicate layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see, I now have two layers, another layer. They both have the same name except this one has a number and a one. Now my move tool is still selected so I can grab this new layer and drag it right underneath. The next move is to go ahead and flip this thing so I'm going to pick my layer option above the image and I'm going to pick transform and flip vertically. Alright, now on the layers dialog I have the option of uh, setting how opaque the image is so I'm going to go ahead and slide it down to make it about oh say 50 and it stands out now is it's starting to look more and more like a reflection uh, the last move I'm gonna make is I'm gonna grab a tool on my toolbar that is called change perspective and I'm gonna click on it once again we've got a series of options down here I'm gonna grab the bottom left corner I'm gonna stretch it out I'm gonna grab the bottom right corner I'm gonna stretch it out and uh, let's see I'm going to then click on my perspectives tool which is around here somewhere I see I found it it's on the other screen um, here it is and it says do you want to transform and the answer is yes and now I have an image that looks like it's got a bit of a reflection of course we can change the perspective any way we'd like and that's how you create uh, a reflection of text in the GIMP that's something that we did in class 
uh, all of our students uh, in the IMAC program uh, at the seventh grade class has been working with this uh, and uh, the tools there that I demonstrated were the add text to image the move tool and the change perspective tool okay so that's it for this tutorial uh, thanks for thanks for checking it out and uh, keep an eye out for more thank you